Audra Fry had a relatively uneventful pregnancy with her second child, Elsie. At 37 and a half weeks, her daughter's birth also started off smoothly. I went into labor naturally, um, and I had a really good labor and delivery. Um, I only pushed for 40 minutes. Um, everything was picture perfect. It may have seemed picture perfect, but Andra quickly noticed the delivery room was quieter than normal. She did come out um, a little unresponsive and she wasn't crying. So I thought, you know, just motherly instinct. I thought something, something doesn't seem right. There was a period of time right around the time of her birth where the blood flow to her from her mother's placenta was interrupted and that caused um, the blood flow to not be continuous from Elsie's mother to her. The lack of oxygen put Elsie's life in danger. When a baby is diagnosed with hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy or HIE, we institute a treatment called therapeutic hypothermia. And that is a therapy that allows us to keep baby's body temperature cool by about three degrees from what their normal body temperature would be. And we do that over a period of three days. Elsie was flown to Penn State Health Children's Hospital, where doctors are experienced in using this critical treatment. We immediately sent our neonatal team to the hospital via helicopter to be able to get Elsie to our center. It's very critical that therapeutic hypothermia be started within the first six hours of a baby's life. Doctors immediately applied a cooling blanket. It is a specialized material where water is maintained at a certain temperature throughout the blanket. The baby doesn't actually touch the water, but that cooling water lowers the baby's core temperature by several degrees. I think we went to bed at the Ronald McDonald house the first night we were there. And I, I personally, and I tend to be an optimistic person, I thought there was a 0% chance we were bringing her home. After she made it through the first night and we got there and they said, oh, Elsie had a great night, I thought, okay, she's gonna be a little fighter. Elsie responded extremely well to this therapy. We saw her over the course of the time that she was with us in the hospital really flourish. And despite the very critical circumstances that she was initially faced with, she blossomed. During her stay in the NICU, Elsie not only met her big brother Everett, but also continued reaching her milestones. We want to make sure that babies can maintain their own body temperatures within a normal range without any help from the incubator. And she was able to do that, which is excellent. And then finally, breathing completely independently without any assistance from any source of ventilator or oxygen or anything. After five weeks, Elsie graduated and was allowed to go home with mom, dad, and big brother. She finally had all of her cords out and all the IVs were gone and I was able to hold her and it was just wonderful. They let us have kind of like a little graduation from the NICU, so that was really sweet. And it was really exciting just to have both the kids under one roof.